As I rethought my plan, I felt my hands go numb. The air was warm, but I was cold inside. My spirit was frozen like ice and shattered like broken icicles. I was tired of what the world was telling me. There is so much to live for. That was just a repeated statement going through my mind, but I had every reason to deny it. I looked at the sun that was shining upon me. I knew for a fact that the sun was shining, but in my soul, the sun had darkened. Today was a determined day for me to put all of my problems aside and wipe out all the sufferings I was going through. I opened the door of the old wicked room. I got inside. The room was as dark as my blackened soul. I turned on the lights, searching for lights inside of me. I sat down on a chair. I was trying to give it a last thought. I was trying to think of something that could bring the last hopes to me. The more I seized, the less I achieved. Life had no meaning to me anymore. I had suffered for so long. The fast and fun times were over. I felt old and useless inside. My dad meant everything to me. Now he was gone and that was just the start of my problems. The government was after me and my only sin was being the son of the fallen soldier, the man who put the rebellion together against a corrupted government. A government run by religious leaders where every man was bribed and whoever was looking for justice was exiled or brutality murdered. I knew that they were going to come after me to hunt me down. They feared me because of my dad's clever ideas and plans. Now he was decomposing in his grave, and I was all alone to pass his agenda. I had no support, therefore I had made the final decision to eliminate the killer of my father, the betrayer of my father, the evil coward who turned him in so he could survive, the man from his blood, yes, his brother. Hey, Ben. Cyrus, welcome. There's so much I gotta tell you. The, the evil government murdered my father, and nobody even knows about the murder. I'm sorry to hear that. Why didn't you tell me? When did this happen? I can't discuss the details now. First, you have to make people aware. His supporters will continue the struggle. How am I supposed to make people aware? God damn it, Ben. Just listen to me for a sec. Please just listen to me. You have to do this and stop these bastards from torturing people. What am I supposed to do? I mean, you're the newspaper publisher. You can publish this in the daily news. Listen to me. Get your ass back in the publishing place and just publish the news of my father's murder. I know you can do this. There's no way I can get away with this. I'll get killed too. All right, Cyrus, your call. But remember that you might lose your friend because of your selfish decision about this whole thing. It's not a selfish decision. It's for your own good. It's for people's good. Okay, I'll try my best. Just for you. It's splendid. Oh, and please, give this to Linda. All right, take care of yourself, man. Yo, I'm gonna call you tomorrow. Maybe you right. and Linda can come over to my house. All right. I started running as fast as I could before it was too late. My clock was clicking and time was fast approaching. Meanwhile, the last hopes in my mind were fading away. Suddenly, I felt weak. I crashed into the ground. My heart stopped working. My last hope of survival no. were the pills. The pills. I took as much as my body could handle and continued running. I was so close to my destination, but yet I felt so far. I saw the door that led to my uncle's bedroom. When I felt what I've known, never
Time to sign off, you old wicked lizard. I snuck behind the bushes and crawled to his place with caution. I looked through his door. I saw him lighting his cigarette nervously. He looked like an old lizard locked in the chains of filth. I held the knife in my hands. I squeezed on it with all the hatred inside me. I got so close to him that he sensed my presence. Cyrus, it's you. What do you want? You betray my father. You betray your own brother. The man who spent his childhood with you. For what? Money and safety? It, it's all a misunderstanding. Cyrus, it's not my fault. He was pushing his limits. That silly old man would have been dead anyways. <laughs> I look at the face of the filthy lizard. He had fallen on the floor, dead and helpless. I felt relief. My work was done. I smashed the cross that I had sharpened the same day through my heart.